In this video, I'm going to be talking about an electrophilic addition reaction that occurs between hydrobromic acid and 1,3-butadiene. And this is kind of an interesting reaction because you get a different distribution of products depending on the reaction that you do the, uh, or depending on the temperature that you do the reaction at. So to explain this, I'm just going to go over the mechanism. So in the first step, you add a proton to this double bond and you should know from OCHEM 1 that you're going to add the proton to the first carbon and to give a carbocation on a secondary carbon and that's because secondary carbocation is always going to be more stable just due to <coughs> hyperconjugation effects and in this case it's further stabilized by resonance because 1,3-butadiene is a conjugated diene so you can see here that you're going to get either the 1,4 product or the 1,2 product depending on whether the free bromide ion attacks carbon 2 or carbon 4. And to figure out which one it's going to attack, we're going to look at a potential energy diagram. And you can see here that we're going to have a lower activation energy for the kinetic product, they call it, the 1,2 addition product. And the reason for that you can tell just by looking at the transition states. So, as you can see, the transition state for the 1,2 product has a partial positive charge on a secondary carbon, which is going to be more stable than the transition state <clears throat> for the 1,4 product, where you have a partial positive charge on a primary carbon. And I think that's pretty straightforward, actually. But What's interesting is that although it has a lower activation energy, it's actually less stable overall than the 1,4 product, the thermodynamic product. And that's because of this internal double bond, which you should know that internal double bonds are more thermodynamically stable than a terminal, I think it's called terminal double bond. So pretty much what happens is this whole reaction, the whole reaction is reversible. So at really high temperatures, you're going to end up with a majority of a thermodynamic product because even though <clears throat> you're going to end up initially with a lot of the kinetic product, you're going to have enough energy to go back to reform the carbocation and then you'll have enough energy to finally make it over here up to the transition state for the 1,4 product and end up here and then it'll be more likely that because this is more stable you won't have enough energy to go back up this energy hill to undergo the reaction again so at lower temperatures you end up with the kinetic product because it has lower activation energy but at higher temperatures you end up with a majority of the thermodynamic product because you have enough energy to create this more stable product